Hello everyone, so if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that I'm sort of a general carpenter. I don't specialize in one thing or another. I'm not like a roofing specialist or a flooring specialist or a kitchen specialist. So as a result, my toolkit is kind of tailored to the sort of general side of carpentry. Now, I did a, a series of videos a little while ago on some kitchen fitting. I've done quite a few on my channel, and if you've watched those, uh, thanks very much. I did one specifically on fitting plimps, and whilst I was doing it, I explained that I keep the plimps down three or four mil uh, from the underside of the carcass for a couple of reasons, A, for some airflow, but B, so that when I come to get the plimps off, what I tend to do is just go on the van, find like a four mil or three mil Allen key, turn it sideways, get a pair of grips and just pull it out. Now again, as I said, I'm not a specialist kitchen fitter, but I actually do fit quite a few kitchens. Obviously if I do a house, I fit a kitchen in it. Um, I got quite a lot of comments on that video. Uh, thank you very much if you did comment that basically the easiest way to get the plimps off is to use a little um, sucker cup. So what I've done is actually had a little look and I've bought myself one. So what I thought I'd do is show you the one that I've bought. Um, I had a little squint around and this is the one I went for. I bought it off Amazon, um, it's by Laser, but I think it's pretty much a generic one. It's done by a couple of other companies, but I just went for this pistol grip type one, um, about 12 quid off Amazon. I think you can buy this from Halford for 12 pounds as well. Um, and what it says, look, 12 kilogram lifting capacity. So um, I bought one of those and what I'm gonna do, uh, just to show you is I'm going to go into, we're, well, I'm on that uh, bungalow that I did, uh, I've done all the roof and everything on it, but this is the one that I did that kitchen on. So um, what I'm going to do is nip in there and, uh, you know, try it out on the plinths. I'm sure it's going to work, but um, I'm a bit of an old dinosaur and I know I'm waffling on here, but there's a lot of things that um, I've done over the years that I've kind of not necessarily done the hard way, but the beauty of the internet and the beauty of putting videos on YouTube is not only can I share uh, my experiences and tips and tricks with you guys, but also you can tell me uh, how you do things and I feel a bit of a fool not having a sucker pad like this before, but anyway, I've got one now and we'll go and see if it works. Right, so I'm in this kitchen and bizarrely look, the cooker hood, uh, it's, the electrician hasn't been, so the cooker hood's still not finished. But what I'm gonna do is just nip and show you a particularly tricky bit of plinth that I might struggle to get off here, is the one on this 600 unit in here. Um, as you can see, it hasn't got a gap. It hasn't got much, of, can you just see there? As you can see that, oh yeah. Hasn't got much of a gap because I wasn't worried about getting this plinth off because there's nothing behind it. So let's get the uh, camera set up and uh, get this sucker on and see how easy it is to pull that off. Here we go, moment of truth, one-handed operation. Stick it in the middle, depress the handle, I should say that's how you do it on here. Look, you just depress the handle, you can probably see how it looks. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see, it pulls that in. Uh, to create the vacuum to make it suck. So one-handed, uh, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's dreams. It just comes off, came off my hand, literally. How cool is that? Look, stick it back on. Bosh, that's fantastic. Just one like that. Oh, look at that. I could do this all day. In and out, in and out. Look at that. Superb, and then just press this little button. You just press that button on the side, and obviously it releases the the sucker, but look at that, absolutely brilliant. So, fantastic little bit of kit, it's gonna now be put on the tool, uh, in the tool kit on the van. I wonder what else I could use it for. So we've seen that that little sucker can uh, take off kitchen plimps easy, but let's have a quick power test. It said it could lift 12 kilos, so what I've done is, uh, I'm gonna give it the uh, the power test. I've got my tranny here, I'm gonna weigh that, I'm sure that's way over uh, 12 kilos. I've got a little set of luggage scales which I keep on the van all the time anyway. So let's weigh the transformer and then let's see if the little sucker lifts it. Well, I'll get set up first. So hopefully you can see the scales. We're winging it here. Right, let's have a look, see if that, if we can get that there. Here we go, right, let's just clip this on here. Right, that's on, switch it on. Right, here we go, I don't know if you can see that. Let's lift it up. Right, here we go, let's lift. Oh, let's put that down there, can we see that? Right, I hope you can see that, what does that say? I can't even see it. 15, 15.7, can you see that? Hopefully you can see that, yeah. 15.7 kilograms, right, okay. So that's exceeding the capacity that that little sucker says it can lift. So, I'm gonna test two things here, we'll test it. Uh, how much you can lift, but also let's see if it sticks to the side of this transformer. If I just lay that 
over on its side. I'm obviously not going to lift this transformer too high because it's expensive, I don't want to drop it. Right, so let's go, let's suck it on. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. It's got that. It's got that an absolute treat. Look. That's absolutely. I mean, I'll make sure I don't hit the hit the button to loosen it off, but look at that. Do that again, look. Stick that on there like that. Uh, I don't, I don't want to hit that button. <laughs> right, look at that. It's got that, what did we say that was? 16 kilos, I can't remember. Not bad. It's got some go, I mean obviously you can use it for glass and anything shiny I suppose. I suppose we ought to test it on uh, something that's got maybe a grain pattern on because sometimes you get plimps with grain patterns. So let's just see if I can find something like that. I couldn't find any, there's nothing sort of uh, painted grained effect uh, on this job. But what I have got here is uh, these are the ply panels on the back of my van and they are ply if we can just see they're like a grain defect you can see that they're like a grain defect uh, ply um, so let's see if it sticks to that let's go yes look that's got that so yeah that's look it's just lifting that off there so yeah um that's sort of grain defect so it sticks to that so i suspect it probably does sort of have its limits but Certainly glad I bought this uh, for its primary job of getting plimps off one hand and it's absolutely going to be a winner. So uh, I hope you found this interesting. I know it's not the only video on YouTube showing using a sucker to get plimps off, but I thought it was quite novel and I'm glad I've got one. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later, suckers.